What I'm here to talk about is, of course, the live console, which we just introduced at Music Mesa this year, and it's its first showing here in America. We've got a lot of cool things to talk about here. We've got, uh, well, we've got the boss up on the screen playing some music, so we can, uh, yeah, there's the boss up there doing his thing. And we're actually mixing multi-track down here on the stand. It's a lot of fun. If you can't make it, well, you missed out on a good time. If you can make it, make sure you get over here. But the console itself, well, hey, it's the SSL Live. I'm sure you've been reading about it. I certainly was. Big, big, big touchscreen. Multi-gesture stuff so that I can grab something, change it, do it over on my screen here. Multiple tiles, 96K, 64-bit, 976 in, 976 out. It does a lot of stuff. And at the end of the day, it's a solid state logic. So it's an SSL with the super analog mic prees. So I've got the sound quality I've been going for. And now I get to take it to live. I want to take a look at the screen so you can see just how easy it is to set up mixes and do whatever. So because I have 36 faders right here on the surface, each one of these 12 fader tiles functions completely independently and can be set up however you want to set it up. So that being said, how would I do that? If I wanted to look at this fader tile right here where I have have my currently have my VCAs I might want to set this up completely different so I simply choose a a layer and within each layer I have five banks so I'm gonna to go to bank three I would name it called the crazy bank or whatever something that I would want to set up so if I wanted to pull an input up here I would simply grab a kick a snare maybe grab a hat but then maybe I want to get a little crazy and grab the sitar VCA because you got to have a sitar VCA for Peter Gabriel. Maybe I want to grab Peter's vocal VCA. Then maybe I just want to grab some different things like, uh, well, my inner master, my iPod coming back. And so that's a good start. Now the really neat thing about this is I can go right. Maybe I'm in England and I move my kick drum somewhere else. Done. It's simply drag and drop. So I can move Peter's VCA. You see how the channel order of how that happens, it really doesn't matter. It's simply a drag and drop kind of system. And that's how I set up all my fader tiles to become something that's really functional for me. Not for what I tell it to you to be, but for me to mix on. And so it's a really slick way to do it. The other cool thing is obviously if I have my VCA set up and I wanted to query them, query is a similar function to what other systems do to populate something, unfold something, spill something. I can quickly look at the channels that are associated with those VCAs. Or of course if I go in reverse and I look at something else like a kick drum, I now go in reverse and I query it the other way. Now I can see everything it's associated with. Ins, outs, effects, whatnot, mixes, whatever you want to do. It's a different way to do things. So it's a really exciting way and a really quick way to get around this console. And that's the SSL Live. We hope to see you real soon for a demo at one of our offices in either New York or Los Angeles. So please give us a call. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, guys.